Welcome to week four of the Zero Energy Design MOOC. I hope you liked week three as well. This week we will focus on step two, reuse, about using residual energy in your building. Let's again have a short look back to see what you learned last week. After a short introduction, you saw many examples of passive and smart bioclimatic design, which were meant as inspiration for your own solutions. Afterwards, you learned about thermal insulation and the efficient use of heating, cooling and ventilation. Last week's mini-documentary introduced a sustainable office called Projecto Roble. And finally, the design and technology was further explained. We are now almost halfway, entering week four. The lessons of this week will be related to the reuse of energy in various forms, including the technology to make optimal use of this residual energy. In lesson 4.2, Eric will explain heat exchangers and their potential source of heat. Thereafter, Sabine will discuss various types of energy storage, especially related to heat and cold, followed by an explanation of heat pumps and air conditioners, their purposes, applications and differences. Finally, in lesson 4.5, I will consider reuse on a larger scale, to see potentials of exchange within the urban environment. This week's assignment is of course related to the reuse step of our approach. We want you to propose strategies and solutions that help to make optimal use of residual energy. Think of waste energy from within the building, think of environmental waste energy, and think of how you can make use of energy pattern differences within your neighborhood, the neighborhood of your building. This will be explained further in the last lesson of this week. Present these again in drawings, sketches, schemes, or lists if you like, again what suits you best. And estimate or calculate how much energy you can save by applying these measures. I wish you good luck on this assignment and hope to see you soon again.